working on Stormy's room. So all of these, the kids were playing in here and had all this like styrofoam and I can't like, vacuum this up. It'll, for one, probably won't even vacuum, but might like break my vacuum. So I'm gonna try to get as much as I can just by hand. I'm doing it for you too. Oh, you're gonna help me with it by hand too? Thank you, buddy. Vacuum this up. Yeah, can you go get me the vacuum, bud? I'm just vacuuming it up. Okay, go get the vacuum. Oh, oh. So funny because everyone gives me such a hard time about buying so many baskets, but I'm telling you, like, we use baskets all the time. They, like, for so many different reasons, just like as a catch all, to use as, like, you know, instead of like a bag. I use baskets better for my ADHD because I can see everything like and people make fun of me but honestly I wouldn't care because <laughs> it makes my life so much easier just like little things like this you know most people would bring like maybe a whole garbage bag but I don't want to waste a garbage bag on get the vacuum buddy wow you are such a good helper all right you get a vacuum it up for me Is it not working anymore? We might have broken it. Is it not working, Betty? Yeah, I think it might have broke from the start. Right, let me go fix this, okay? today's vlog I look crazy <laughs> we're just gonna go with it real life over here navigating life without a husband I say I'm married but I am not used to Travis not being home and now that he has a job I'm having to learn so many things I just don't know how to do on my own and so the vacuum cleaner got like jammed and I had to literally take it apart <laughs> to figure out how to fix it and I wanted to share this in case there is anybody else like there out okay. if there is anybody else out there like me and you happen to have a Dyson can you not climb up there but I don't want you to get hurt So this is clear. So this part was clear. There's literally a mess all over my house right now, but this was stuck. So like in here, and then not this part that's like nasty, I need to clean this, but like up in this little hole up here was like completely jammed. And that's why it wasn't working. So I opened it up, figured out where the clog was, and then I took some chopsticks and I literally took it in here like this and just started jamming. And you can even see like some of this stuff that was like stuck in here. Storm's drinking his water bottle, but like you can see a little bit of like the little, but it was like fully jammed and a bunch of stuff came out. So now it looks like it's clear. See how you can see uh, like that light made a mess, but that's like a lot of what was jammed up inside of there. So got it out. Woman power. <laughs> I'm only joking, but not really. Good job, buddy. Okay, we're gonna get this all cleaned up and we will see you back when we start doing the paint. By the way, we're ripping all these this carpet up and putting hardwood floors in here. <laughs> Try to paint with young. Okay, seriously, I'm about to start crying. Please drop everything, Storm. Drop it now. Okay, come over here, please. Yeah. I had to poop, you guys. Stop, please. I know that you know that you're in trouble right now. No. Okay, you literally dumped the whole bucket of paint out. Look, it's everywhere. And then you guys painted where you're not supposed to. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God, what a nightmare. You guys, come on. You have to let me be able to go to the bathroom without destroying something. 
something. I'm gonna have to bring you guys in the bathroom with me. This is the thing, I'm like mad at them, but it's my own fault. Like I literally left two young kids in with paint, like what was I thinking? Clearly I wasn't, I was just had to pee really bad. So now I have to, and I actually think it's a happy accident because I think it looks better anyway, but learn from my mistakes because I'm far from a perfect mom. I'm just out here doing my best. And sometimes, you know, you tell them over and over and over again, don't touch the paint, don't touch the paint, don't touch the paint, that you think that they know, but then you leave and they push boundaries, you know? And yes, I did. That lesson was, don't leave them alone in the room with the paint. But they really want to paint their room. It's their room. I want it to be special, make special memories. So that's what we're doing. And yeah, here we go. Let's do this. We need to make this super clean for you, Storm. Yeah, Ew, don't worry, Storm. I'm going to make it so, so clean for you so you can have a nice room. So nice to see all right, here we go. Woohoo! Yeah! Let's wipe this off, get it nice and clean for our walls. Yeah. And then we're gonna put this and screw it in. I just screw it in. So that we have a longer stick. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Can I do it with this little one? Um, yes, but look, remember you have to just just a little bit of paint, okay? okay and we're okay. only painting this wall. Okay, bring your hands up here, okay. and it's easier. I'm grown up, so I can do this. Mm -hmm. All right, let's find this. I'm already grown up. Oh, okay, and when careful, I grow, careful. And when I grow up very, very tall, I, I, can, I can do that. Okay, go ahead now. You're gonna be an old man. Ah! <laughs> What? Okay, honey, it's okay. It's just a little paint. It's going to be okay. Here, watch out, watch out. We don't want this to hit the ground, okay? It's okay because we're going to change the floors out and rip up this carpet, but we don't want it to get on the ground because it's dirty. We want to start at one side like this. Okay, and you're going to get the corners and all the little white spots that I missed. Yeah. Yep, that's how it works, okay? Ah, 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 ah. No, absolutely not, okay? We learned our lesson last time. You're not allowed to touch that. Cloud. That was really weird. It literally That's sounded really like there were people, like someone in our house. <laughs> How creepy! It's what's creepy is like it would make sense if there was like neighbors close by, but we are on five acres, so there's not like close by neighbors. So when you hear somebody screaming and it sounds like it's coming from your house, <laughs> kind of scary. You scared the kids too. All right, you guys, come on. Let's get back to painting. Yeah! All right, let me get you guys another paintbrush. Oh, yeah. I made a bunny ear and I, uh, it's a right, bunny so rabbit here. and it's ears. No, dang! Oh, honey. All right, so let's continue painting. Let's continue painting. What do you think of the color, Storm? Do you like it? Yeah, he likes it. He does? Yeah, let me paint. 
Skip. Good job. That's exactly what I need to do. You are so smart, so gross. Thanks, guys. I'm good helpers. Can I get some more paint? Yep, yeah, more paint. Here we go. Okay. All right, get your paintbrush. Get your paintbrush. No, no, I gotta do this one, okay? This one's too big for you. You're too little for this one. I know. I'm sorry. I can do this side because I'm big. Yeah. No? Listen, this is not abstract. Uh uh. Where? You know where. Where? Okay. The parts that are white, okay? We you need to put the parts that are white and need to be painted. Get a little bit more. Good job, Starling. Wow, there's a lot. Can I get a lot more? Yeah, but just make sure you're doing the white parts, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. This, this is big for you. It's big for it's you. It's big for you, bud. Mom, you want the small one. No, I want the big one. So we're going to paint. Alright, maybe it's been one longer vlog, so that's a little unedited version. Now let's wrap this up. for even allowing them to help because it's just, it's like a, it's like I'm asking for trouble. <laughs> but I try to make special memories. Uh, can't win. Doing my best. All right. Let's see how much I can get done without them destroying something out there. I'm just hitting it with a second coat. Now let's try it on this side. like a whole rack of ribs and just me and the kids. What did you think of the ribs? Um, good. Good? You want more? Yes, some more. Yeah, we still have leftovers. Now, I will show you. This is my plate. This is storms and snows. And we are currently, Sissy's making a drawing. We've got some flooring. We're putting in Storm's room. Trav is pulling all the old carpet out so that we can lay down the new floors. And we got the paint up, and we have a light fixture that came in. We got the cream walls coming along. So obsessed with the way that Snow's room came out. It's not done, obviously, but it shows such a nice view out her window. Um, so this happened. <laughs> Well, we were painting, so I'm trying to get it off. I've tried vinegar, magic eraser, just soap and water, but it seems that just a good old quarter is what's getting it off. So hopefully I'm not scraping the actual paint off, like the white paint that we want to keep, but life with kids, am I right? Let me show you guys. Storm's carpet's all out. Trav's in there working, and then we're gonna lay the floors down. All right, Stormy's out here watching some TV. Trav is busting his butt getting the floors in. We just finished reading Teacher Dragon Body Safety. This is a book that teaches kids about like 
you know, private parts and safety. And we also have this book, but my kids don't like it. I think they need to get a little bit older to appreciate it, but um, it's a good book about their being neurodivergent. You got Bluey, these really cool quilt quilted pillowcases. I got this set at the thrift store for like two or three dollars. I'm obsessed. What? I still want minions. You don't want minions? Okay. You want to change it? I want to show you guys what his room is looking like so far, but he's requesting a different show. So what do you want to watch, buddy? He's obsessed with Spider-Man, by the way. What do you want to watch, babe? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. What, Masha? Yeah. Safety series? Hotel. What about Hotel Transylvania? Transylvania. Yeah? No. No? Okay, can you tell me what you want to watch? Here, you need to think about it and then you let me know what you want to watch, okay? I also got this from the thrift store, this from the thrift store, this from the thrift store, this, this, <laughs> this. I swear so many things are from the thrift store in my house. Which makes me so happy. Oh, this is like my, don't mind our messy house. There's stuff everywhere. But so I got this basket for $5. It was actually like an old sewing basket from like JCPenney. <laughs> and I turned it into a little basket uh, or like a little plant pot. Because I just think it looks so cool. Because I didn't like this little pot that was in there. I thought it was ugly. So, And then I also got this for $2 at the thrift store. You can see the price. It's really cool for decoration for Storm's room. You want to watch what? Ninja Turtles. Okay, I think that that one's okay. I haven't seen it. But... All right, there you go. All right, let's see the progress in here. So we put in the... What is it, like fake shiplap sheets or whatever? It was just the cheaper version, and then we painted that. And then, I don't know if you guys remember, but this was all green. So we painted that like this like cream color, which I really like the cream color. And then we're putting in these wood floors. So you have to put in like this. Why do you put this like plastic barrier? It's like a... This is on concrete. So it's like a vapor moisture barrier. A vapor moisture barrier. So like if like water gets from underneath or above or Yeah. If you have an elevated floor that's wood and is not like on the ground, you don't have to put this. But when you have a concrete floor like this, if there's got a crack, water can seep through, it can get moisture and stuff like that, just from the humidity from So it prevents mold. Yeah, it's just it's, this is creating a barrier, so no water, moisture, or anything will get to the bottom of, of the boards, because that would not be good. Got it. And if you're curious, this is just like glue residue from when they laid the carpet down to keep like the carpet on the concrete, but because we pulled all that up, you can just see it just stays there, but... So, this is the flooring that came with the house. This is the flooring that we're putting in. It's not exact match because they don't sell this anymore. Or maybe they do, but it was like too expensive. So we're putting it's in. close. Yeah, it's pretty close. And it's in a narrow hallway with not a lot of light. Yeah. And I don't think you're going to notice it at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's really coming along. I think like his little room, a lot of this stuff came in. So... Those are his little bookshelves that go on the wall. We got him like, we had to get like very special stuff for Storm because he has to have very soft things. So like anything that is like not even remotely soft or comfortable, he doesn't want to be on it. And so I had to get him like extra soft, like even the throw pillows. Like I had to do a lot of research to make sure these are like so soft and comfortable. <laughs> like I want to lay on them. So just like the textures, the softness, things can't be too hard. Like he's very particular. So uh, you can see like this is very soft and then this fabric's very soft. I put everything. If you also have any kids on the spectrum that have the same like special needs, I listed all this stuff on my storefront. Construction. 
think that this is just so cute. I love these like vintage wooden tennis rackets. Something about them is just like screams like old money and just like cute little boy, like vintage inspired. So I got him a special cheat set. We usually try to be like very mindful of chemicals and off-gassing and things that are like synthetic. So we try really hard not to buy synthetic clothing and stuff like that, but it's, it's really hard. So, and that stuff is very expensive. <sighs> So we like try to balance things here and there. And for Storm especially, the, the balance is if we tried to get like 100% cotton or linen, he probably wouldn't sleep in his bed. So I went ahead and got this like, it's like that really soft, cozy, like fleece almost sheets and like bedding and stuff. So I got that and then I went ahead and got like this very expensive. This is 100% cotton, but it was very soft and I read like tons of reviews to make sure that it was like uber soft. For some reason it wasn't, I would just return it. I'm gonna put you down so I can open it up. But it is, this is what it looks like. You can kind of see like how soft that is. And it's like this like, like taupey color almost. So we're going for like that vintage inspired little boys room, but also something that's like not too kid-like. And same with Snow's room, that like, you know, we don't have to redo the design. Like every year, every couple of years, like they'll be able to grow into it and have for like a long time. Like that was kind of our goal. So that like we spend the money once, you know, designing and decorating their room. And then hopefully they'll be able to grow with it over time. And that might, you know, not be true. Maybe they like, you know, get a little bit older and they're like, I want to paint my room purple or something, you know, but we're hoping that, you know, this is a good choice, like design choice for a long term. So yeah, that's kind of the goal. And then we also got this hotel collection down comforter. It's like that really soft, fluffy, like cloud, like duvet. So it's like very comfortable on him. And that's the duvet cover. This is the sheet set. This is a bookcase that goes like on his wall for his books. Got a little bit of like the wooden decor. And then we also got this, I think I showed you this already, this like little faux leather bean bag for his room. And we'll put that next to like the book shelf that's on the wall so he can like get cozy on this in his room and like read books and, you know, hang out in there and it'd be like a, like a cozy space that's like safe for him to like go lounge in. So I'm really excited. Snow's room is almost done and Storm's room is getting there. I'm excited to change that light fixture out. But yeah, we have the bed. So soon, probably in the next couple days, this room will be almost done. I still have to find nightstands, which I'm planning to go to the thrift store and find some second hand. So yeah, this is the like decor pillows for his bed. And then trying to, oh, this is a light fixture for his room. So I hope that looks good. And then this is this, these are the sconces that we're putting over the nightstands and on like a remote. So these are not hardwired. And I thought it'd be fun for the kids cause they can like change the colors and have different colors in their room. So yeah, I've got that. What else is new that I can show you? I bought another Ohio Stoneware um, heirloom mixing bowl. I freaking love those bowls. And then I also got this little egg stand, which I thought was like so cool on Amazon. All our little firm fresh eggs. So yeah, that is kind of what's going on right now. It's getting late, so I am going to wrap up for the evening and I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little look into us decorating and designing the storm's room so I will keep you posted stay tuned for tomorrow where hopefully the room will be done or close to it so thanks for watching thanks for being here sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I will see you in the next video Bye.